Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. Today is Scrappy Saturdays, or Saturday Scraps actually for me, Saturday Scraps. So we're not gonna be using all completely scraps, but we are gonna be using some scraps. So what I have here, and we're gonna be, I started this one and we're gonna finish this one off and then I'm gonna do some of these with you, but leave them sort of basic and plain um, because I don't know you know, where exactly I'm going to be using them, if I'm going to use them, you know, botanically or probably with some sort of flowers, but I don't know all of the color schemes of where they might go. And I'm certainly not going to finish all of these, but these, what these are, we are going to make flip up bookmark tags. Okay. So they're going to flip up like this. And what this is, as you can already obviously tell, is cutoffs from file folders. I had cut down some file folders to put in a small bin so I could hold my upcoming projects and, um, you know, kind of in a, in a little thing until I can move them into the bin where I'm going to work. Um, so I cut down the file folders by probably about two inches. Let me, let me grab a ruler over here, uh, two and a quarter, two and a quarter inches. I didn't measure that. What I measured was the bin and I needed to cut that much off. So I had these pieces left. So I went ahead and I cut off all the tabs from them. And um, if there was any, and I just left them like this. So we're going to be working on making tags, uh, flip up bookmark tags is what I'm going to call it. And I'm working on this one for the tall slim journal that I am going to be finishing up soon. Um, so they work perfectly for it being something long and narrow for in there. So I started it already. So let me, let me kind of get my paper clip off if I can, without ruining my stuff here. So I got everything paper clipped underneath it. So let's move that to the side, move this over here. So this is what I have with this so far. I'm going to decorate. So I have this paper and before anybody asks me where this paper came from, these are roses from, I think it's Heron Lake Designs, H-E-R-O-N, like the bird, Lake Designs, I think it is. They're just PNGs, um, which means they have no background. And I just put a whole bunch of them on paper. Let me see if I can find one for you. Here we go. Put a whole bunch of them on paper and printed them out, just like that. No fussy cutting, just printed them out. And I'll be using this in that tall, thin journal in several places. So anyway, this is the front and I did line it with uh, a printable digital paper. Um, so you have all, I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see all of that space in there to journal on. And when you close it, you have all of that space on the back to journal on. So simply speaking, that is all it was. So I am going to just decorate this one and get this one finished. And uh, so I've got a few things out already to, I'm hoping this is gonna work. I can't pick anything up with my fingers. Okay, there we go. My little, my little butterfly got a little bent out of shape there. Let me just get my antenna inked up a little bit and I'm gonna drink some tea, even though it's cold by now. <laughs> <laughs> but my throat has been a little itchy because of allergies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this first. And what I decided on this was I was going to do this this way. But when I put the lace here, because the flowers were so pale, they really didn't show up. So I'm going to reverse that and I'm going to put the, the, I just tore out a piece of uh, inked uh, parchment paper. Um, and I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put the lace down underneath here because the leaves will show up better. The green leaves will show up better against the lace than the pink up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just, and then I'm going to, I'm not going to, um, put any backing paper like this on the other ones. We're just going to cover the front. It's only going to take a minute, honestly, guys. Um, just to, to decorate a few with some paper. I'm gonna use some book page and I'm gonna use some um, digitals 
that I have over here. And since my colors always tend to be sort of pink, um, we're going to stick with that. But like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to end up going into a, a very vintagey looking. Um, I'm going to bring this down and actually I want to, I want to put the lace under here. I think I want it to go this way. Okay, like so. Okay, and then I'll just go ahead and glue down here for the lace as best as I can. I'll try to remember to fill this up. Hey, that wasn't bad. That was not bad. Okay. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put the roses on top. And again, these roses are from, I'm going to do it with this so I have a a little leeway to be able to move it if I don't have it exactly because there's not a lot of room for this one to go on here. Um, so that being said, be careful with this because that's a thin stem right there and it wants to move a lot. So there. Alrighty. And just get this glued down. Let's see if I can find my very gummy, gummy glued up uh, tweezers here. I've got to find, I always say this, I've got to find what I did with the um, acetate. Yeah, nail polish remover. Okay, there we go. Good. Everybody's on. Everybody is on. Okay, so there we have that. I think I can get a little more glue on this one right here. I've got to remember to fill this up tonight and leave it on its side. Just press that down a little bit for a minute. I do have a butterfly. I'm not sure where I want to put it just yet. It's probably going to go down here. But what I want to do is I want to take some ribbon and I want to just kind of scrunch it along the top here and I usually do use the uhu for this and then so I can get it scrunched and then I will glue it in place with the um fabric tacker three in one all right let me put that back there and let me try to go ahead this is already scrunched, but I need to like, you know, scrunch it myself. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. You don't need a whole bunch. Don't need a whole bunch to scrunch, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do that. Let's cut this off here. All right, come on down. There we go. All right, then I'm going to take this. And this, oops, I think that's, that's which way? This way. I'm gonna put that along the edge here, but before I do, I am going to take this and pin it on, okay? And the key actually has to, I need a jump ring for the key, so just give me a minute. I'll be right back. Come in here and find my jump rings. They're in here somewhere. I'm actually going to redo this. It's a great big drawer that I have, a big wire drawer. And um, let's try this one. And uh, there's just too much stuff piled into one big drawer, even though I have it in containers. Um, just I think it's just too much. So I think I want to separate that a little bit. I want the key to go that way. And I think I think what I want to do with this is not do it like that, but loop it over 
Ooh, I could put the key through there. Well, you know what? It's too late. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to loop this through like we would on a tag with the ribbon. And I will loop that through there like so. Which way did I go? I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> well, that wasn't right. Okay, let's pull you out. Let's open this up because I don't know if I can pull it out. There we go. All right. So that's going to go. How do I want the pin to sit? Because it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, I want it here. All right. So let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> See if I can do it right this time. I said I just wanted to uh, let go. There we go. Got my key caught under it. Oh, it's just one of those days today. Now it's caught on the loop <laughs> for the key. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Honestly. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. Hang on one second. Um, don't want it too big. So let's see what I can find in here. Um, all right. Let's try the pearls. Okay. I'm going to see... If I can see the tiny little holes on these things, I'm going to put one. Oh my goodness. There we go. I think. Come on. Two. I'll do the third one. Oh, got a few that popped out here. Okay. All right. There, whoops. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Oh my goodness. Down, down, I say. All right, there we go. All right, now, hopefully, this will keep the tassel from trying to weave its way over and get hooked on the jump ring, let's hope. So let's try this one more time, shall we? Oh, I'm so much happier with that, I think. I don't know. Now I feel like there's too much space. <sighs> okay, here we go. We're going to go down to one pearl, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Decisions, decisions. All right, we'll just do the one pearl. Okay. Okay. I didn't like all the space between the tassel and the key, so now I've got this all discombobulated. All right. Did I do it again? Ooh, actually, I'm really having difficulty with this, to, can you tell? <laughs> oh my god. Goodness, who would think this would have to be so difficult? Okay. This is going to have to go. Do I want it that way? I don't. I'm really having a problem with this. This is what happens when you do videos late at night, right? Okay. Okay. Let's get you off of here. All right. All right. So the key goes first. The pearl goes next. This is it. No matter whatever it is, this is how it stays. All right, actually, I'm going to have to open this up but to pin it on. But I need it closed to make the loop. So it shouldn't flip over to the other side once I have it, you know, the other side of the pin, once I have it pinned in, 
you know, to the piece, but right now it's just wanting to give me issues. Da, 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 da. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to pin it onto this. Okay, I hope. Um, no, I'm not. Oh, good heavens. Um, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. I want to make sure I've got a side that looks... I can't decide. I think this side looks better, honestly. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push that over that way. I'm going to bring this here and up and down and up. And I don't mind a little bit of a ruffle there. I think that will look fine. And then I'm going to glue that along the bottom of the, um, what do you call it here? Maybe I'll put it on this side. Mm. <laughs> nope, don't like it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go this way then. I don't mind if I have a little bit on the end that I cut off. I'm not going to worry about that. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and put that on. Then the key. Let's try that. Push that down a little bit so I can play with this some more. Go here and here. And put the pearl on. If I can find the hole again. There it is. Okay, and then gone, going, and then I'm gonna just go hooked on the end here. I'm trying not to drop everything off like that, as I want to leave. I want to do another little ruffle there. Oh my goodness! I can find everything but the hole. It's a challenge for me, I'll tell you. So, okay, and then let's go again here, and we'll do one up, close that, find the tassel, which is hanging off over here. Yep. And we'll go ahead and put the tassel on like so. Okay, open that up. I'm trying to keep things from overlapping while I'm putting the tassel on, you know. Okay. Now it's already on the piece. So now, clean my glue because I didn't put my stopper back in. I'm going to go ahead here. Get my glue to come down. Okay, I'm going to bring this so that the tassel is right at the edge. Okay, try to make it as straight as I can with the pin being what it is. Okay, that's pretty good. This side's holding nice. This side wants to resist. <laughs> which I understand. So what I'm going to do is get myself a little clip and I may have just shaken the table and I apologize for that. I'll try not to mash into it. I want to just pull this up and get a clip on it so that it will dry stuck to the ribbon. Okay. I think that one's in, this one will be in. Okay. So let me go ahead here and just trim that piece a little bit more because that was not close enough to the end. Okay. All right. This piece goes back 
into my little snippet bag. We'll put that over there. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll go ahead and trying to cut around the pin. All right, there we are. Boy, I'll tell you, when you do stuff when nobody's watching, piece of cake. When you do stuff when somebody is watching, oh my goodness. All right, so we have that. Then what would I want to do? Do I want to put the butterfly up here? I think I do, and I'll tell you why. Because I think I'd like to put a word down here, okay? So let's go ahead, let me straighten out his antenna. Move this to the side. Alrighty, and we'll put him down. Okay. Go up, there we are. Okay. Alrighty, so I think we'll go ahead, put that one right there. And then I have on some tissue, well not on tissue, but on tracing paper, just a few words in different fonts. So the question is, what would I want? I think I would need something with a little weight. Um, let's go with this one down here. I'm just going to go ahead and tear like so. Going a little too far there, but nothing that I can't fix. Can always be fixed. All right. I kind of like it. Well, let's just tear this down a little bit more. I don't mind it wide, but it needs to be a little narrower, like so. I think we will just slim it down just a smidge. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm going to take my ink, do my best. Oh, I got to close those pearls before they end up all over the floor. That would be fun. You think? <laughs> I'm not thinking so much. All right. All righty. This is good. All right. Go ahead, and we're going to use the three and one for this. Okay, all right. This truly is my favorite glue by far. I do the you know, the art glitter glue great holds I like that all right that's pretty well without that it's prettier so that's what we have so now it is a flip up tag I got paper and glue stuck under my fingernail so now it flips up like that for writing inside and it'll go into a nice pocket on the uh in the journal and it'll look really cute I think so let's put these away and all I'm going to do with the other ones, just to make a few, is, if I can find them, some of them are a little longer than others. Um, actually, it looks like I might have used the two. Oh, no, there's here's a shorter one. You could see that. So I'm going to just take the longer one. I'm going to do just a couple. Let me see my time here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe we'll do, I'm thinking maybe I wanted to do a different, um, hmm. <laughs> I 
had some blue in here. Now these papers are from a place called um, Rusty Glass on Etsy. Some of them were lighter, some of them were very heavy embroidery, some of them were picture frames like Art Deco. There was a couple papers in here though. There's a nice brown one, isn't that pretty? Brown is. Let's do let's do the brown one. And I think there's a blue one. And then I can do a couple of these pinks. Pinkish colors. Let me see if I can find that blue. There's like a purple. Where, where, where? Oh, there's a blue. Okay. Sort of peacocky colors. Let's do this one, I think. All right. They're obviously, you know, to fold in half, like in a journal, but you can use them for, you know, tags and, oops, what am I holding here? Oh, that's okay. Okay, good. Let's put those under there. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to do any decorating. I'm just going to use some old book page and some of these digitals and... This is really fragile, fragile, fragile book page. So let me get rid of this glue. And I'm gonna just come over here and I'm gonna tear this because this stuff is really nice for stamping on and using. So um, I'm gonna just put a piece down now let's just go ahead and do that. I mean, you can see how it tears so easily. I'll just put a piece down and then I'll probably just tear this and put it over. I think, oh my goodness, this nose is driving me crazy, guys. I think, I think, I think. Hmm, okay. I'm not going to worry about it being perfectly straight because I'm going to trim it all off anyway so but I thought you know these would make nice filler pages um, for journals but I originally thought you know they would make really pretty pockets and tags and uh, that's that was my original intention <laughs> for getting them nice backgrounds for tags that you can collage on you know put something on top and um, you know, for pockets to make side tucks or regular pockets or diagonal pockets or whatever it's going to be. So I am going to tear from this side. I'm going to go down and then I'm going to go over a bit. Um, like so. So, I'll just start doing that from there because I need to be able to cover. All right, that's good. I think I like it that way. And we'll do it like that. Let's just ink this edge. Sorry about that. <laughs> A little obnoxious banging there. We'll ink the edge and then cut away what we do not desire. So let's do that. So like I said, this one is using up my file folder scraps for that Saturday. So that is Saturday. I think it's the 25th. I will eventually get a calendar hung in here. I have one, but because of this little corner where I sit, and you know what? I'm just going to do what I did before, which is I'm going to let a little bit go over the back to kind of finish, finish the top edge here. And I'll do the same thing with the blue or whatever color. I'm using so let's put that in there all right and then we're just gonna go mm-hmm 
didn't go far enough, but that's okay. Um, I can fill it in. Didn't realize this really, this really just fits, but I am going to, well, I can bring it in a little further. I think that'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to glue from this edge first because I'm not sure exactly how much I'm cutting off. I can always go back and glue the edge along. But like I said, I'm going to, um, I'm not sure if I want to put like, depends on what I'm going to use it in. If I'm, if I'm going to use it in a more grungy, um, very antique -y looking, uh, botanical book, then I think I would want it to be, um, a little more coffee stained as it were. This isn't going to go very far, but it will go just to kind of finish that edge a little bit. Boy, the book page just wants to come off on my fingers. It's so fragile. I think the book is from like 1920, but it's literally just falling apart. So the cover is falling apart. Everything's falling apart on it, sadly. So, but anyway, go ahead here, get rid of that glue. Love these mats. I say it all the time. Love, love, love these mats. So let's just cut this part away. Okay, stick that in the garbage. It's just some glue. And we'll go ahead and cut this part away. Normally I would lay this down and cut it with my knife because I think with my cutting, it just comes out a whole lot better. It looks really good from the side I'm cutting on. Then I turn it over and go, oh my gosh. So, but yeah, so I will either cover this with, I could cover it with notebook paper um, if I wanted it to look like a field guide kind of thing. Um, you know, and do actual notebook inside uh, and on the back. Or, you know, so I may put like a long, you know, let me see if I can get to them. I'm still trying to clean things out around here. And every day I make a new and different mess. It's lovely. Okay, they're not in there. I'm trying to see where I put, I had stickers. goodness. My problem is I move things and then I move them again. What's in here? Aha. I think I found some guys. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting into this drawer. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so I have these stickers. I've got these green ones, but they're not exactly what I'm looking for. So let me see if I have anything here. Hmm. There might be one. There might be one. Too wide. This is another thing that I had bought not long enough and I never use it. Yeah, these are not very good. Very good for what I'm looking for. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. I don't know if I, this is another one. I could possibly, I could cut it down. Um, put that on there like that, but I don't know, but you get the idea. I think I'm just gonna toss these things to the side for right now. 
because it didn't quite come out as I would have hoped. There's ferns on here, um, but I think I need something just a little bit more robust, if you know what I mean. Um, these are actually kind of tiny. Oh, I used one for something. <laughs> I used two for something or more. I'm missing a few things. I don't remember ever using them, but I must have used them a long time ago. So anyway, there might be a little bit more down in there, but I can't quite get that drawer open. So anyway, you get the general idea there. So let's move that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I want to do something with it. Um, golly. That looks pretty if I took this one off. That actually does look quite pretty. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that little rose right off. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. Maybe we'll put a word and a butterfly on this one too. See what that looks like. Got a folded over stem here I need to get out. Come on. They're so fine, these things. When you cut them like this, and oftentimes when I cut them, as I'm trying to cut them out, I just cut it off. And I'm like, oh, well, oh, well. <laughs> Better luck next time, I guess. So, all right. So we'll get this one on. And because of the background on this one, I don't feel I have to put anything behind it. The other one, even with the background um, behind it, you can see that it was kind of hard to, to see. So I'm just going to go ahead like this. Okay, because of how I cut things so fine, sometimes I can kind of smush them around a little bit. Okay. Here we go. And then what do we want to put for a word on this one? How about, how about, how about this one that says journal? Just, whoops, tear that one down a little bit. I like it and I can I'm gonna just put it up here let's see about a butterfly I might have a blue butterfly let me see let me see I've got a green butterfly in here do I want green no I don't want green all right let me look over here oh what about this one? Oh yeah all right I'm gonna have to cut this one out see what I can do here. Okay. This one had not been cut, so it's going to be fun cutting this one out with all these little ridges. I usually just kind of do my own ridges when they're ridgy like that, and you really can't tell, but I'm not exactly following the lines. So this one's going to be a little bit more difficult and then to finish them up I'll just go ahead and do the book page and um, digital on a couple of more pink one and a brown one I think I was gonna do and then whoops a little bit closer there here we go and then that will be it I'll put them in my ephemera bin for when I need something and chances are I mean they can go into a regular journal you know a regular journal size that we normally would do but they work really really well if you're going to do a tall thin journal so this sorry I didn't pick a smooth edged butterfly. This is, takes a few minutes. So, but 
I like the idea. As I cut them off and I'm like, geez, what can I do with these things? There has to be something I can do with them. Let me just do the other side and then I'll do some ink on it. And uh, I'm sitting here going flip, 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 flip for like, you know, three or four minutes. I'm like thinking, what can I possibly do with it while I'm flipping it in my hand? And then I'm like, um, hello, <laughs> why don't you make a flip up tag? So, I mean, you can even do it as a belly band. You can use it as a flip up belly band if you wanted to. Um, <clears throat> you know, of course you wouldn't have to worry about the back of it. Um, and you might need a little bit of Velcro or something, or you could tie a ribbon around it or just, you know, put a paper clip on it, um, anything like that um, to hold it shut. So, you know, as you turn the page, it wouldn't flap around. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go around the edges, particularly down here where I put the little, the little notches that may not have notched in rhythm with the picture. Okay, let's get rid of the papers. Let me check my time. Not bad at all. Yep, okay. I like this one a little wider on this one. Um, I do think I want to do it a little more careless. Of course, I'm not succeeding. I like it wider, but I'm trying to make it kind of go up and down and back and forth, and it's just going straight no matter what I do. I'm trying. It's not listening to me. Okay. Oh, uh, well. All right. Let's make this one a little shorter on this side now. Now I cut it down by half. Goodness. All right. So go along the edges here. I will admit it is not easy to ink tracing paper, especially when it's so tiny like this. All right, so I was thinking up here, and then we'll put the butterfly down there. What, what say? Oh, yes, okay. We like that. And then we can do, I'm trying to think, um, I know something we can do too. I think it would work. Should work. Whoops, almost put it on upside down. All right, we're gonna put it this way. Okay, is that straight? Because you know I have issues with straight, <laughs> especially when things are laying down on me. All right, and we'll go ahead and we'll just use this. So this one looks, I'm happy with this one, actually. I'm not sure where I'll use it. I don't do a lot of blue, which is kind of why I wanted to do some blue. Um, Cause I'm trying to break my mold. I'm trying to do more things. All right, I'm gonna see, I think, remember what I said about my nice cutting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see a piece right here. This one does not want to hook over, but I'll re-glue that. But anyway, oh, I didn't ink the edges of this either, did I? It really does make a difference, doesn't it? Doing the distress ink around the edges of things. It just makes it pop. Okay. And again, I'm only going to worry about the outside right now. I may end up printing more, or I've got, got, well, maybe not hundreds, but I probably have a stack of notebooks of assorted sizes and colors. Um, oh, at least 14 or 15 inches high over here. Oh, I just, it's not as convenient here to um, dye my papers, color my papers the way it was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead here. I'm gonna fold one of these over, these little whale tail tabs, but I'm going to just trim the edge or just maybe cut on the fold, which isn't even here. Okay, I'm gonna to try to cut on the fold. 
All right. All right. I'm going to just round this a little bit more so it's not quite so. Okay, there we are. And I'm only going to put it on one side because I think, think if I do that and do this, it should still open, right? Should it not? I think I glued it shut. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh my word. Okay. So I'm thinking it should, yeah, yeah, it'll open. Hot dog. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to glue just one half of the tab onto this. Okay, try to get it in the middle, and there we go. Okay, so we have that. All right, so that's that one. I'm going to just stick that away from my pile so I don't get myself confused when I go to use them. Okay, put those back up there. So that's that one. So that one came out pretty. To tell you the truth, I like this one better than I like the other one. But that one came out really cute. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to take a couple more here. One, two, and we're going to do brown. And I think I like this one. Of course I do, because they're on two separate things. So make me cut two separate things. All right, so let's cut the brown. And all we're gonna do for this is just put the book page on along with it and that's all. We're not gonna decorate these or anything like that, but these are kind of good. If you have scraps already, you know, without having to cut off all the white like I have to or whatever, and you have some scraps, to just take some scrap papers and some book page or cover it completely with book page or whatever you might want to do. Um, could be fun to do them like that. And they go together really, really quickly. And quite honestly, I mean, like I said, I cut, I cut these down. I'm going to go this way, I think, because of all of what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go like this. Um, so, and of course you could use that on another one. Um, I just thought, um, I'll try to do it here. Mm. Get another, another book page, and you could see <laughs> part of the cover came off with it. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it here, like so. So I'm just going to glue, I'm just going to do some gluing, and then we'll just cut it away because I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to glue again on this side so but um you could just take if you have extra file folders and you just want to make a whole bunch of these you can just you know cut them down to whatever size you want like I said these were what did I say they were two and a half or something like that or two and something um I just want to try to make sure I've got it I want to pull it down because I want to try to bring this over the back better than I did on the other one and make it straight because I want my word straight okay so um <laughs> I don't think it is <laughs> I don't think it is but if I try to pull it I'm probably going to tear it um so let's see I'm I guess file folders are like 12 inches. I've never really measured them, to tell you the truth. But for us, it, you know, they fit an 11-inch paper. 
that would leave like a half an inch on either side. So I guess they're like 11 and a half or 12 inches, something like that. 12 inches would make it easy. Um, cause then you could do two inch ones or, you know, if you did two and a half, then if you did two and a half, then I'd have to do an awful lot of math. <laughs> and I don't do math. So at least not well. Uh, every now and then I surprise myself and my family. And I can actually do something mathematical, but it's rare. So, all right. Bone folder. I don't know. Here we are. I just want to press it down. You can see it's, you know, it's an older paper, so it just sort of shatters a little bit. But it is what it is. It's all stuck to my fingers now. All right. So we're going to go ahead here and put this piece down. And I think what I want to do, I want to get a little bit more book page. So I'm going to try to hollow that out a little bit more. And yeah, okay, that's good. All right, so let's go ahead along here. So if it, if it is, in fact, let's see if I can try to figure this out in my head. Um, if it is, in fact, 12 inches, and I think I can't remember if I said these were two and a half or two and a quarter. I have to go back and check. So let me glue this on, and then I will check, and we'll see. Well, I can check first, because that glue can sit for a second. That's not a big deal. It was two and a quarter, these. Um, so two and a quarter and two, oh, let me get rid of this. Two and a quarter and two and a quarter is four and a half. And then, um, that lined up, which I'm not doing too well. Uh, so four and a half and four and a half is eight, nine. Okay. Not too bad, though. I have to bring it down a little bit here. Okay. Uh, so four and a half and four and a half is nine. And then two and a half would be 11, nine, 10, 11 and a half. So if they're 11 and a half, you're good at two and a quarter. Would give you one, two, three, four, five. I think it would give you five of these at two and a quarter inches. So if you're willing to cut down a, a file folder or two, um, you know, you should be able to make a minimum at two and a quarter inches, you should be able to make a minimum of five of these out of, you know, one file folder. So that's not so bad. And if you can get them at the dollar store, which I got a lot of mine at the dollar store. Um, I got a lot of mine um, through thrift stores. Uh, so that, oh wow, that one's chipping. <laughs> that one's pretty. I like it with the brown. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't, I didn't, I'll just go ahead and kind of run along the edge here a little bit, but it looks really nice with the brown. Like in that one, like in that one. Yeah, I thought maybe this might need a little bit darker um, ink, like a walnut stain or something, but I think it's okay with this. Yeah, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, guys. I know I said I wasn't. Um, trying to see what, 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 what I have. Um, I just popped something.
That is kind of nice. Hmm. It needs something behind it, though, doesn't it? Hmm. Let's put this to the side for a minute. I'm liking it, though. Okay. Put that one up there. This is going to be my next one, and I was thinking that that's what I wanted to put behind the bit. So if I wanted to do that, let me try to do a little bit more. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, a little bit more book page. I might be able to get away with it. I might, I might. Okay. I do like it with the, a lot of the pattern on it, but the book page does make it. That's another thing for a Forgotten Friday. <laughs> um, this is for scraps, but even for a Forgotten Friday for me because I forget about doing um, book pages. Yet again, something I have so very much of. And um, yeah, I just... Never, ever, ever, ever think to use it. I just tear that away, but I'm going to put more on the bottom. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more, and I'm just going to tear it and put some down here. Okay, that's good enough. I'm just going to glue. I'm trying not to make it go over the line above. I don't mind if I tear into the other line. But yeah, all right, that's good. So I just want to put a little bit more book page on here and just slightly less of the, um, wow, I just gouged. This paper is so fine, so fine. Okay. All right, that's good. All right, while that's setting, let's go ahead and cut this. This will be my last one. I don't know if I'll get it decorated or not. And for something like this, I'm not sure. No, I wouldn't want to, I don't, well, I don't know. It just depends, I guess, on what you're decorating it with. If you would want to put like a bow or something on it, but you know, how would you open it? If you put, you know, something through it. Okay, so now let's go ahead here, cut this down. I want to try to borrow some of this for that. And you'll see what I mean. If I can do it, I'm not sure I can do it. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess. But I'm being a good girl, and every night before I go upstairs, I at least tidy up if I don't really put everything away, because I may be in the middle of doing something, you know. Okay, so what I want to do here is <clears throat> I'm going to try to draw a line if I can find a pencil here. Here's my knife. Here's pencil. Okay, I'm going to try to draw a line as to where I want to tear. Okay, and let's just try to tear somewhat along that line. Okay, I can always erase it, but I'm just trying to use it as a guide because I'm trying to keep enough of this paper um, to 
to use to back the other side. I always run into a problem somewhere in the middle. <laughs> All right, let's try to get rid of these lines to the best of my ability. See how well I can follow a line. But in my defense, it was a squiggly line. And paper has a mind of its own sometimes, I think. All right, uh, let's do this. And I don't know that we're going to get anything on this one, but okay, let's go ahead, put this on here like so. That's really pretty. Okay. And I'll tell you, this paper is so shattery. This book page, so shattery just fallen apart but the thing of it is is I do have books and that kind of sometimes it, it kind of breaks my heart to think about tearing them up and using them if they're not good books and you can you know like hide all the not nice words then that's another thing because in all honesty I don't have a problem getting rid of books like that um but um, especially older books, I really have a problem with like just, if they're falling apart, there's no possible way that you can take this book and read it because as you turn the pages, it, it just falls apart. And if that's the case, then I, I really don't have a problem going ahead and using them. You know what I mean? Um, but I just hate to take a perfectly good book and do that. You know, I really, I don't, it kind of breaks my heart. So have books, don't generally use them. <laughs> so <laughs> picture books are a little bit better. Um, you know, I probably don't have as much issue with that. I actually got several of the fairy books. Um, so, oh, hang on. Got this little case hanging over. Um, I got several of the fairy books and, you know, so that I can open them and, and use the photos, you know, not the photos, but the pictures for um, journal cards and, and whatnot. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm not sure what I'm thinking here. So, I did get that haven't done it yet. They're sitting very nicely on my shelf waiting and I will get there. I just, I'm not quite, let me open this one up because I'm not at the edge here like I should be. There we go. Much better. Okay. All right. So that's that one. But now what I wanted to try with this, let's see my time here. Oh my gosh, I'm over, but all right, just give me a, give me a few more minutes, guys. Just give me a few more minutes. Okay. I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a different look. If I can, there was this little scrap of paper in this box and I thought, oh, you know, that might look nice probably want to, instead of a word, maybe get a label for this one. I don't know. I don't have labels to, to hand right now. So, um, okay. I'm going to take this and glue it down. Okay. And then we're going to cut it out around it and put that on the brown one because I really think it would look really nice like that. So we'll put that like that. Okay. Get that straight. I 
think I'm even liking that. I don't know. <laughs> what else do I have? Hmm. Maybe I might have to cut off a few leaves or something, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to get my cutting board because I think I can do it quicker this way. I'm making such a mess that I can't even, um, I can't, can't, I don't have space to work. All right. Is that good? Um, uh, get my, I'm going to try to do it like that. Give myself little marks. I think that's easier than trying to see through the glare of the plastic. Okay. And next. All right. Okay. All right. Let me do this one. Okay. These are really pretty papers. Really liking them. So we'll put this on here like so. Okay. All right, let's get that glue on. Oop. I'll probably have to go back and check for loose edges, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put that in here, which I like very much. It is a little off, but that's all right. And since these guys are giving me an issue, I will just cut that away, doop, doop, and I think we can, I like it, I like it there, all right, let's do that, and then I'll find a butterfly and we'll slap that on, and maybe a word, I don't know, because I'm over an hour now on this one, guys, and that's kind of long, but I was really wanting to get a few of these done, or mostly done. Didn't think I was gonna decorate them, and now I'm kind of thinking I will. All right, so I'm gonna just do that. Let that hang over for a minute. And what, I have a green butterfly. You know, I like it, I do. All right, we're gonna go for the green guy. Let's put that on. And then maybe I'll find a word or something later, but that's where I'm gonna stop it. We'll see what I can put on after the fact. Okay, I think I like it this way. Alrighty, so that's it. Let me clear these things out of the way, push this stuff back, try to find the ones I've done. <laughs> There's another one someplace, the pink one. I don't know where I put it. It's here somewhere, buried under the mess. But in any case, guys, that's going to be it for now. Um, so those are our flip-up tags for our Saturday scraps. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, be blessed, be happy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.